Hi, I'm Dr. May Seibel, menopause expert and the editor of My Menopause Magazine. I want to talk to you today about an over-the-counter approach to vaginal dryness because it's one of the most common symptoms that women come to the doctor for and there's a lot of remedies that you can use before going to see the doctor. Now one thing I do want to mention is, is if you do have ongoing vaginal dryness or painful sex or anything related to that and it's continuing over weeks and weeks, then you really do need to see your doctor. A, you could have some change in your hormones that you don't understand that could be due to a medical problem. B, uh, you could be masking an infection or something else that is going on. Or C, you could have like a local problem like a what they call a vulvar dystrophy, which is an abnormality of the skin of the vagina and the lips of the vagina. And I'm going to do a whole series of discussions about that and other conditions in a Another video. So don't let it go on forever, but in the meantime, here's a couple things I want to share with you. Number one, when it comes to herbs, alternative sources, and things like that, uh, things like Don Kwai, or things like um, black cohosh, or things like soy, or any of the herbal approaches that may have some benefit. Uh, in other realms or in other aspects of menopausal treatment or other symptoms for that matter, there haven't been any really good studies that show these herbal approaches uh, are really helpful for vaginal dryness per se. So if that's really your problem, I would stay away from those as a first choice. They may work for you. Everything works for somebody, but for most people, they don't work. Another thing that you can try is something very simple like a vitamin E tablet. You can take a gel cap, you can prick it with a pin or a fork or stick it with a knife, squeeze out the contents, put that around the vagina or place it into with the vagina with your finger and that can serve as a lubricant that's safe and fine and for some people they find that helpful. The third thing is just plain old organic vegetable oil. You can use a tablespoon of that it will increase the uh, wetness in the vagina and it will allow for good lubrication. If that doesn't work or you don't like it because it can get pretty messy, there are a whole range of lubricants that are out there. Most of them are water-based, meaning they will not hurt things like condoms or diaphragms or other things like that if you're still worrying about contraception, but they are generally considered safe. And the thing about it is, these are solution issues. They're not going to solve any problem. They're going to give you about five or maybe 10 minutes of slipperiness because after that, the water will evaporate and then you're back to where you started. You may have to do another application of it. So those are the lubricants. Just look for the fact that it's water-based. You wouldn't want to use a petroleum jelly or Vaseline or something like that. First of all, it's very messy. It can be uncomfortable anyway, but most important, if you have any kind of a, a latex product that you're using, a condom, a diaphragm, anything like that, it's going to really eat that up. So don't use, um, I don't recommend using Vaseline in this capacity. Uh, finally, there's a category called moisturizers. The difference between moisturizers and lubricants is that when you have vaginal dryness over time in the course of the day, the lips of the vagina can get like sandpaper. It can really be uncomfortable. The, the, and you walk, you can get friction on the lips of the vagina. It can cause discomfort. And if that's the case, then using a moisturizer can help to resolve this over the course of the entire day. So you're not focusing on the moment of intercourse. You're talking about trying to deal with more of a solution. And while it won't work for everyone, there are a lot of people that have very mild vaginal dryness for which a moisturizer can work really quite well. So check them out. All of these things are available to you over the counter. If your symptoms persist, be sure and ask your doctor is there a problem underlying this that you need to be checked out more thoroughly for. And there's a lot of more information on these types of issues and related issues. You can go to My Menopause Magazine magazine.com and go right to the Apple newsstand and get the magazine or in the web form mymenopausemag.com that's available on the internet. And also if sexual discomfort or problems with intimacy are the main 
a problem and the reason you're watching this video. If you go to bettersexbetterintimacy.com, I have a six CD audio series. Some of the top experts in the world are brought together and share with you the wisdom on how to improve your sex life in so many dimensions and you'll find that very helpful.